Hello, I'm Tony Carter. I'm here interviewing the legendary Mr. John Surtees ahead of our Carol Nash International Motorbike Show. That's on the 26th and 27th of April. You will not only get to see Mr. Surtees there, but you also get to see these two marvellous pieces of machinery behind us, both World Championship winning vehicles. The car and the bike, Mr. Surtees, of course, the only man ever to have done such a feat as winning the World Championship GP on both four and two wheels. Mr. Surtees, thanks so much for talking to us. We really appreciate you taking the time to do this. Now, having the car and the bike together at the show, it's the first time they will be together. It must stir up some emotions in you about past glories and uh, some, bring up some great memories too. Well, of course, uh, a bike and a car together uh, goes back to 1960. Not that, not that car, of course, because I wasn't with her, but uh, 1960, my last year in motorcycling, as it turned out, uh, was also the first year that I sat in a race car. And so I ended up one weekend uh, riding an MB Augusta and another weekend uh, driving a Grand Prix car uh, for Lotus. Now many people go back and talk about Freddie Spencer, the great Freddie Spencer, doing the 250 and 500 in the same season in Grand Prix racing. But to do four wheels and two wheels, very unique, and with them overlapping, was that a particularly tough time for you, or did it come naturally? Well, uh, obviously I was having to work very hard with the car side, uh, because I had no experience at all. Uh, I sat in a car at Goodwood for the very first time, a Formula Junior car, and uh, had a big dice with Jimmy Clark, uh, and I put it on pole, but um, then forgot I had four wheels for a moment and used a bit too much grass <laughs> and lost outs, but I got second. I then took a car that I had purchased to Alton Park and was first private owner uh, and came second again. And then I went to uh, Aintree and um, Colin Chapman, the head of Lotus who'd created that company, said, ride Formula One. I said, I can't, I'm motorcycling. He said, no, no, ride Formula One when you're not motorcycling. <laughs> so, um, fine, I tried a Formula One. I went quick enough. And so uh, that was the first stage. Whereas on the bikes, obviously uh, I'd drop on a bike and I'm immediately uh, the whole program would come back yeah. to where you're relating to the machine and, 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 and you'd done it all before. It was all there, live in your mind. Sitting in the car, I was experiencing it all for the first time. So the amount of concentration and also uh, probably stress, which went with initially uh, driving that car, not knowing anybody else on the track, which is a major factor. Yeah. Uh, because in racing, uh, it's very important to know who you're competing against. There's those people who you can go along and ride like that with uh, and be quite safe. There's others who uh, you've got to steer clear <laughs> of. And there's others who you can take you know, real liberties with. And I knew nothing about this. 